you know, like I feel like us as a team throughout our entire course of a team, we've kind of like had that taste of being like really good, but we just like haven't really like, we just like never for some reason were able to like break through that like wall, if that makes sense. Like we've just kind of been like decent. Like we've never really been like great together, right? So, you know, like obviously we played the split, went well. Um, we got like sixth or whatever in NA. You know, go to LAN, you know, also like once again, like we're playing decent, but it's it's just like we felt that there was like a team dynamic thing that kind of was holding us back to being like a great team. You know what I'm saying? So we made the decision to um, look for a more um, like aggro kind of player like a more aggro you know even slash co igl kind of player which will help us kind of like bridge that gap to becoming a great team so yeah i mean that's kind of the decision making like it wasn't like a thing where obviously everyone's gonna like look at the f***ing roster change and everyone loves to like they love to you know get angry and like get upset and, you know, say, f you, f no, f you, and all that, this and that. But I mean, honestly, like Shuby, when we, t when we talked to him, he understood what we were saying with the team dynamic thing. You know, there's no bad blood with Shuby. We fully explained to him, like, our decision. We didn't just, like, you know, be, like, how some of these other, like, people are in esports and, like, kind of just be like, yeah, you're dropped, man. See you later. And not explain to him. Like, we fully explained to him everything. Like, we gave him the opportunity to, like, talk to us and, like, tell him, tell us how he felt about it. And, yeah, I mean, like, we, I feel like we handled it pretty well. And, you know, we made the decision we made. You can uh, be on the lookout for who we're going to get. And, yeah, chat. I mean, that's pretty much that. I can answer some questions, but, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of people just being like, they're getting Skittles. It's not going to be Skittle, chat. It's not going to be Skittle. Skittle is still, like, chilling off a of comp. Yeah, yeah, me and Noct are staying together. I mean, Noct, Noct and I... Yeah, exactly. That, that is kind of what it is. It's like Noct and Shuby are very similar players. And we're just looking for that third player that has just... They, they're just more aggressive, right? Like, more of, like, a hard fragging type of player that's aggressive. So yeah, that was kind of like our decision and, you know, I feel pretty confident in the future and yeah. I mean, chat, this is another thing too, like something that like people I feel like get twisted a lot with roster changes is like chat, you know how many roster changes I've made in 5 years of Apex? In 5 years of Apex, I have only dropped one other player like i'm not like some of the other, these other teams that have just like constantly made fucking roster changes constantly fucking dropped people all the time i have made one roster change in five years other than this one this is my second time dropping someone you know like say what you will but it's like man like i'm not some fucking person that is just constantly dropping people who is the first the first was literally skittle the first person i ever dropped in apex and like did decided to stop playing with them was skittle that was my first time ever dropping someone in five years bro everyone that i've ever played with has either stopped playing like quit or left noct and i just are looking for someone that is just has that aggressive like fragging type of hard fragging type of role and like once again shuby is a fucking really good player man he's a really good player it's just unfortunately in apex like team dynamics are very important and you know we felt like we were lacking on the team dynamic but yeah i'm not gonna do like this all this this thing where it's like why did you choose knocked over Shuby?
why'd you do this? I'm not going to shit on any players. Like, I'm not going to say, oh, well, this guy is better than this guy or this, this, and this. At the end of the day, bro, feel confident in, you know, our roster and the future. And that's all I really got to say. And like another thing too is, is like, yeah, like we were a good team. Don't get me wrong. Like I said earlier, we were like a decent team, but I'm not trying to just be decent. Like I'm not trying to just get like, you know, fifth through eighth in everything I play. Like I'm trying to be fucking great. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm trying to push the fucking limit to be great. I don't want to just fucking be decent. Like and you know i think that our team dynamic attributed to that it's like the team dynamic just wasn't rounded like to the to to like what i think we needed when we find out who the third is i'm not sure actually we'll see uh yeah can um spartan can you um can you get the vod from when i like first started after this this last game I played and just like link the timestamp that way we can have it in command. Uh Nylander, three years, brother. 36 months. Welcome back, man. Uh E Risque with the nine months. You got Twitch baby E Risque. Rogue would be cool. Bro, if you if if I ever dropped Shuby for Rogue, you could fucking just you could just actually just slap me on the spot. You could literally fucking kill me in game if I ever fucking did that. I mean, yeah, like. I stuck it. Obviously, until people see who we're getting, like, they're just gonna, like, speculate and be angry and all that. So, it is what it is, man. I said what I had to say about it. Did you, uh, did you get that timestamp for the VOD, Spartan? That way I don't have to, like, keep answering. That way people can just watch it. Yeah, no, we, us and Shuby have no bad blood at all. I mean, we, I said it in the VOD, like, we fully talked about it with Shuby. You know, we explained, like, our reasoning, and, you know, he understood, like, no one's gonna like, like hearing, like, that they're gonna be getting replaced, but it's like, you know, it's the best you can do for someone. Like, you gotta just tell them the reasoning and, yeah, I mean, that's it. Nah, it's not Zainu. It's not Zainu. Zainu and Koifel um, are staying together as a duo. Will you guys be trialing a third or already have one of the works? We have some options. We have some ideas. <clears throat> you guys will just have to wait and see. But, um... Yeah, we love Shubi. We enjoyed working with him. But... There's too much overlap between him and Noct in terms of like skill set and play style. And our team, we were looking for someone who is an aggressive, an aggressive player that will take initiative and also can like co IGL to an extent. Because you need more than one vocal player on the team. And the problem with our team dynamic right now is that Dropped is the only vocal person on the team. From my time on TSM, we did our best when Jordan talked almost as much as Hal did. Like, that's when we were at our best. Like, Jordan was the key to the TSM roster. So, yeah, that's what we're looking for. We haven't made up our mind yet. We, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll let you guys know. We'll let y'all know when we do, obviously. But anyways... <laughs> 